Hey, I'm Courtney of Color Me Courtney, and this is my handmade home in New York City. My name's Courtney, aka Color Me Courtney on the internet. Um, I run a fashion, color, and lifestyle blog where I talk about body positivity, color theory, and color combinations, and we focus on a new color every month and just promoting happiness on my little corner of the internet. It was important to me that my home was a reflection of not only like my personality like as a real person but also the personal brand that I've created. This building actually used to be a refrigerator factory so the apartments are all kind of like weird shaped but it gave us the opportunity to build a crazy rainbow closet in the middle of the living room. We're here in my rainbow closet, which is super fun. So the cool part about this room and one reason I'm really proud of it is because it wasn't a room. We created it. This was just an extension of my living room and it had these big white columns here that kind of separated it out. So we used that to actually create walls and create a whole separate section so I could have my closet and I could be messy if I wanted to. Each one of these has a bunch of clothes inside. These first three have like a short hanger here, so that's why it's for tops and jackets. And then I have some drawers down there. I even have some overflow of shoes in here because believe it or not, even though I have a lot of shoe storage, I still overflow it. <laughs> so here on the other side of my closet, we have my shoe wall, which is really fun. As you might notice, oh, we have one missing here because it's what I have on today. <laughs> uh, there is only one black pump and it has a lollipop heel. So I don't know if it really counts as a black pump, but there's not much black in my wardrobe. It's mostly color. Honestly, I thought that was the only place that was gonna be rainbow like that because I didn't think my fiance would want this to be as colorful as it is, but seeing it in my closet kind of helped us inspire the rest of the apartment. So after we designed the closet, the next big thing was the bookcase building that you see in the living room. And one of the coolest things is this is actually a DIY. This is just wrapping paper. And it's also nice because then you're not committed to it. Originally when I moved in here, I wanted to do like a blue bookcase or a big colorful moment that way. But then I'd have to always have a blue bookcase. And this way I could have a blue one and a purple one, a pink one and a yellow one. And I could change it all the time if I wanted to. my little desk area and kind of where I get a lot of my work done. So I have this little like board situation, I guess. It's like a metal frame where you can clip different photos to it. Sometimes I'll clip colors that I'm inspired by. So this is kind of where I pull different colors from that I, either I can use to create outfits with or just get inspired by color or to put up here on my wall. So this is actually the color of the month. This is Living Coral. So along my hallway, I created these Pantone art pieces. Instead of writing the actual color code, I made my own, um, and I made my own name for the color too. So all of them have meaning. Um, we have one that says Awful Waffle, and that is because my French Bulldog, his name is Waffles, sometimes he's awful. <laughs> oh, that's good dog. So I really wanted a yellow room. I love the color yellow, and just having a yellow kitchen makes sense. So we have these really big, bold stripes, and then we also played on using some solid color yellow that you see here, above and below my cabinets. Um, I have like yellow candy, which did you know that you can actually buy only yellow Starbursts, but these are not, it's important to note, these are not lemon Starbursts, because those are disgusting. This is mango Starburst, which is so much yummier and still fits with the color scheme. So you don't have to sacrifice and get gross candy just to make it match your kitchen. So now we're gonna head into my bedroom. Come on in and I will show you. In here we have like a coral and teal theme, uh, which is really fun. We actually picked this color combination like last year and now it's the color of the year, so we're seeing a lot more of it. I think I actually picked the bedding first and then that was the reason I was really drawn to paint the wall. So I love a good like gallery wall or art collage. I really like this flamingo feather and I love that it kind of had the coral color scheme and tied it together. So I bought a second one of the same piece and just decided to flip it here. So we have animals just kind of hanging out all in this room. So we have them here. We have like the giraffes over back on my nightstand. I even have a zebra rug. Mm -hmm. 
I really wanted to have a pink room, so I decided to make that in my bathroom. To start and end your day with like something colorful and fun is a really great thing. Uh, another thing I really love about my bathroom is that there's all these kind of positive images of people who look like me that you don't always see represented in the media. So if people were coming over, they could feel welcome or supported, maybe if they don't ever feel that way in other traditional media forms. Thank you guys so much for popping by and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Handmade. See you guys next time. Bye.